All right, let's get started with subscribing to a specific topic. And to do that, I'm going to write another method down here. So we have method called subscribe to topic and we just pass the topic name. And inside here, we say Firebase messaging dot instance dot subscribe to topic. So whenever we want to subscribe to a topic like notification or chat, whatever, we just call this method and pass the topic name and it will be subscribed. Next, if you want to broadcast to all the devices, you have to create a common topic and subscribe all the devices to that topic. And whenever you want to send notification, you just send notification to that topic and it will be broadcasted to all device because there's no specific way to broadcast to all devices except we have to consider a common topic so for that we can copy this and on initialize right here we can subscribe to all devices so this method is called on initialize and any device which runs this application will be automatically subscribed to this topic and whenever we want to send notification from anywhere we just have to call this topic and it will be broadcasted to all the devices so that's how you can broadcast a notification to all the devices now let's see how we can navigate to a specific page when we tap on notification so for that i'm gonna come to setup notification method i'm gonna open it and and down here we had something called on did receive notification response so inside this uh, let's say we want to navigate to another screen called chat screen and uh, here we're gonna check if details dot payload equals to chat then we're gonna navigate and you can see here we have got two errors one is that we don't have context in this class another is we don't have chat screen so let's create this chat screen first so we have our simple chat screen and now we can go to notification and simply import this screen now in case of context we cannot access context here for that we have to create a global key from our material and to do that we can go to main and in here on top we can type in global key navigator state and now pass this navigator key inside our material app and now using this navigator key we can call it like this navigator key dot current state dot push and push to the chat screen and we can call the same thing down here in the background handler also here now we can save this and if we go to our firebase in here in the messaging if we click here and send a notification we cannot send data or payload from here there's no option and if you want to send more data or payload you cannot do it from here you have to send a json from the url or from the backend that you have so let's see how we can send payload to our device from json and from firebase in previous versions of firebase and flutter we used to come to project settings and inside the cloud messaging we had this cloud messaging api and we had a server key here we could simply write a javascript function or python script to send notification from our script just by giving this server key but now this is deprecated and we have to use the new method which is firebase cloud messaging api version 1 so there are some changes here to version 1 and the legacy version. All the changes are mentioned here. I will leave the link in the description. You can check that by yourself. And I will also write the code. So now let's see how we can generate a token and then use that token to send notification to the devices. To generate a token, we have to come to our cloud messaging. And here in the Firebase Cloud Messaging API version 1, we click on Manage Accounts. This will take you to console.cloud.google.com. In the service account, make sure you have selected the same Firebase project which you're using there and now here you can simply click on create service account you can give it a name so i have firebase fcm demo and i will click on create and continue here you give permission to this service account giving this permission is important you just have to come here to owner some other roles will not be able to send notifications so this is important you have to select a permission and then click on continue now you can click on done now we have our firebase fcm demo here you can click on it and inside here you can come to keys and click on add key create a new key select json and click on create this will download a file for you now we can get this file i will drag it all the way to my project folder i'm gonna rename it as service account now we can close this 
and this one also and now we have to write a function to fetch access token from this service account that we have just downloaded to do that you can come to this website and copy this method and replace this part of the code so i'm going to create another file right in my project folder so it's going to be a javascript file instead of using this method i've written another method which uses google auth library that will do the same thing and generate as the token all right here we are using google dash auth dash library and if you don't have it you can install it by using this npm command and once that is installed we can simply call it and pass our key which is this file that we have downloaded and this scope which is this url you can get this url from that website just from here you can see this website for authorization to fcm then you have an instance of that we can create a simple function calling that instance dot get client and access token dot this client dot get token and it will return the token and then we just simply print that token to the console and here also make sure instead of this key you give the json name that you have here so i'm going to type in service now we can open terminal and inside the terminal we can type in node and generate token dot chase if we press enter this is our token that we can use to send notification. Now to send notification using this token, I'm going to write another JavaScript code. So in this code, we use access library to send HTTP request. And if you don't have this, you can simply call this npm install access and this library so i'm gonna copy this for your reference then you specify your token the token that we have here so i'm gonna copy the entire token and paste it inside this variable then this new url that i've shown you in the changes you just have to pass your project name correctly and then the message payload a variable and then pass the same message notification topic android and everything and once you have your message ready you can pass it in here and the header of http post we pass the token as authorization bearer all these things is mentioned in that website you just copy and paste i have the code for you ready so you can you just use it once you have your header ready you can use the access library to post this request to which url we have our url here and once this is successful we just say message successful and otherwise we print the error so this is as simple as this this is how we can send notification to all devices right now we are sending to all devices topic and remember we are subscribed to this topic whenever we run our application so now let's test all the changes that we have done like subscribing to topic let's see if this subscribe method is working or not and also let's see if we click on the notification it will take us to the chat screen or not so i'm gonna create an apk and run it in my android device so it's finished generating i'm gonna copy this apk to my android device inside the alarms folder i will delete this and paste the new apk now i can close this so the application is installed and before i run this i also have to go to the terminal and type in flutter log to get all the logs so now i can open this application so it has printed our token and it has also subscribed to all devices it means this is called and this method is also called and we have the subscribe to topic so now this device that is running is subscribed to all the topic and if we test using this send notification i'm gonna create another command prompt here and type in node send notification dot js and on press of enter we should get a notification in our device i will press enter and open the device you can see we get broadcast notification and this message is sent to all devices so now the question is if i click on this notification whether it takes me to the chat screen or not so let me click this no it didn't take us to chat screen and if we check the terminal here there's no log here so what could be the problem in the foreground it's not taking us to the chat screen let me make this in the background and send another notification and right here we get this and if i click on it it's not taking us to chat screen now i will completely close this and send another notification let's test if it works in the background or not so if i click on this it should take us to chat screen but it's not taking us so on tap of notification does not work but broadcast is working so to fix that problem first we have to pass the correct data in our notification in the show notification we have to pass the type 
which comes from the send notification we have to pass that as payload which will be caught in here we use that in on date receive notification and then we pass it in handle message in handle message we also change the parameter to string instead of remote message and now we can simply compare that if that is chat which comes from here if that is chat we navigate to the chat screen and also in these three messages which is foreground minimized and background have to pass the type specifically otherwise it won't work so after doing that the last step is to call this setup notification also in initialization method we forget to do that so i'm gonna call that also here await because so far we were setting up this setup handler messages we were handling message for the notification but there was no initialization settings found it means that these settings were not called at all so we were only calling it when a background notification was received so now we are calling it an initialization also and this time we should receive notification in foreground background and minimize and when we click notification it should open the specified screen that we are passing from background so if i save this and create an apk file all right apk is generated now i can go to here copy the apk i can copy this and go to my phone alarms i would delete this file and paste it here all right i have the application running now and if i go and send a notification from the javascript here so in the javascript i'm gonna come here and open a command prompt i'm gonna send notification and we are in the foreground you can see we received notification if i tap on it it should take us in the chat screen and now i'm gonna come back and minimize the application now if i go to here and send notification we will receive notification and if I click on this notification, it should open the chat screen. So that's all for this video and this is how you can subscribe to a specific topic, broadcast to all devices and navigate to a specific page when you click on notification pop-up. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.